Hi there everyone, um, today we're going to be playing with the banner manager in cPanel. Um, a lot of our stores are now actually requesting a front page slideshow. Um, so we've actually worked out a way to integrate this into the back end so you can actually upload your files directly into there um, rather than having to upload them into cPanel and things like this. Um, what we can actually do is like this one we're seeing at the moment, this one is on Whimsy Child and Mel at Whimsy Child actually goes through and updates the banners when she's got a sale on, um, when she's got new stockers, if their stockers have a special product or anything else coming in, she can upload that all as she needs it in the back end from her admin manager. So what we're going to do is jump on into BearCut. Now this is just a demo one that we've got here on a design store. Um, so once we're in here, we just want to go to the left hand side and we want to go into Tools and then under that we have Banner Manager. So what we can do, this is actually made through OSC um, but we've updated it to make it more effective and actually work a lot better for what our clients needed. Um, so as you can see here we've got two banners existing. Now I try and keep them into groups so that way you can actually keep track of if you do want to put banners into the site later on down the track you can certainly do this. Um, what we'll actually do at the moment the front page ones are all set as the rotator group here. With that what we want to do is just click onto new banner and we'll do a quick upload. So we have um, the banner title is required. You can name this anything you want, but it's usually a good idea to make sure that you know which one relates to which images. Um, so I'm just going to go with new banner there. With the banner URL, we can actually link that directly to a product category or manufacturer um, just by going to the website and actually getting that link um, of the product or anything that we're actually looking at, you can just pop that straight into there and that will actually take your customers direct to what you're actually advertising to them. Okay, so for this one we need to set the banner group to rotator so that the shop actually knows that this one is to go on the front page and it is to go into a slideshow for us. What we want to do next is choose the file from our images. This will open your that way you can just go through, find your files. Uh, we've actually got a new one in here somewhere. There we go, newbanner.jpg. You can name these anything you like as well, but it is a great idea to actually keep them the same size so that your page doesn't jump around too much once they're all in a slideshow. And what you can do here as well, I'll show you how to overwrite um, one of your previous banners. If there's something that you want to change, it's pretty easy to do. It's quite confusing to actually talk. So we'll do that while we're here as well. Um, we'll actually set this to start at a certain time if you're really well organised. I never am, so they usually go up when I want them to be there. Um, you can also set them to expire. So once again, if you're not very organised and you know that the sale's going off, you can turn it off at a certain date here. You can also turn it off when a number of people have seen it too. Okay, now we want to click on save and this will actually update us and tell us that our banner has been inserted up the top here. Now what we should see now, we've got two banners here in the rotator group. So we've got glam and new banner. What we're going to do is go to our front page and we'll just reload that and we can see our new slideshow. So there we go, this one here is the glamour banner and then we've also got new banner. So this will just make a constant rotation. Um, we can also change the settings for how fast, but this does seem to be a pretty popular speed that we've got going on. Um, and that way it allows you to have a little bit of interactivity with your front page as well. So what we're going to do is go back to the admin and I'll show you how to change one of the banners. Um, if we go to edit on that side, you can actually the image name actually comes up here. If we want to actually upload a new file, we'll just put a new one in there. This one, it's not going to be the same size, but it'll work. When we actually want to override it, we need to make sure this actually gets removed. 
the site will actually look at that before it looks for this. So if you don't take this out, you have the same image there. So that's one big thing. When you're replacing an image, you do need to take that file name out there and it will replace it with your new one. So we just click Save. And once again, that tells us that the banner has been updated. So we can click on back over here. And here's our new one there as well. So as I said, this is example two of showing that the sizes should be kept the same so you don't have that massive jumping around. Um, then you can see our new site. Um, but that way it does give you the option to have a few different advertising elements on the front page and actually keep your visitors up to date with what's going on with the store. You can include links to anything at all. Um, just generate your pictures in Pixlr or Photoshop or something similar and you're all set to go. Well, I hope that's helped but if you have any questions at all you can contact me directly at hello at morrisbear.com. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.